All right, to the trash we go. Super charge, 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 I should what? No. Let's put a let's put a fucking five oh in it. Alright, so we're throwing all this shit away. Some of it's in decent shape, some of it's not, so we're just gonna toss all this crap. Uh, we're not gonna use it. So anything that's in the back we're throwing away. Um basically going to start getting ready to take this shit apart. So if you want any of these pieces, come to the trash can at my gym. Um, it has a newer battery, so that's cool. And then we don't need a spare. Spare tires are for fuck boys, so we don't need that either. else leaves so we're trying to figure out if we need to if we should replace all these or just clean them and paint them eric says we should really just buy new ones so if you guys have any for sale or know where to get some because otherwise we can literally take all this shit off because i think it just pops off should we just pop it off or what this one, oh, yeah. all right, let's throw that away. So we're just kind of going through all this shit. Like, look, oh yeah, this just pops off. Maybe. Oh, right there, screwdriver. Yeah, screwdriver. I think it's just... Hey, they replaced the speakers, though. That'll come off. So, that, I gotta take that. Oh, screw there. Same thing on that side. So... If you guys have any plastics for sale or know where to get some, let me know. Uh, new carpet comes, I think, Friday. And then, so the carpet is not in bad shape, but I'll show you guys on the driver's side. This is the only reason I'm replacing it. <coughs> is this hole right there, which is typical on like chargers and shit. So otherwise I wouldn't replace it. So we're gonna replace that, obviously get rid of the seats, center console, all that stuff. I got new plastics that came in today. You need to inject yourself? A little syringe? <laughs> so that's basically what we're doing today. Look at that thing, ooh yeah. Tell me you have a blown motor without telling me you have a blown motor. How many times have you been in the car wash? I don't know. So. Uh, what else? This is for, pulled it off of something. Does it work? Ooh, it does work. <coughs> the 
Let's see what else. This shit can go to the trash. This shit works. What? The lights? And yeah. we got LEDs, boys. So. All right, so I uh, started to take some pieces off of the Magnum today. Nothing too crazy. So what I did get in today was I ordered headlights and stuff for because before I was going to do the Hellcat build. So I've got a pair of brand new headlights and brand new fog light covers. So if anybody wants them, let me know. I'll sell to you for super cheap. Uh, anyway, so I ordered new window seals that go on the outside of the door for all four. And then all new plastic, so like on the A pillar, the B pillar, and I think on the C pillar, actually, on the Magnum. So those are all brand new. I actually found them on Facebook Marketplace. Some guy, like, refurbishes them. So those are super cheap. Um, and then I ordered new carpet for the Magnum, because like I showed you guys. For some reason, like, on the chargers, even my old charger, like, it would start to go right there. <coughs> so, um, ordered new carpet new floor mats get here Saturday or Saturday Thursday so by the end of the week I want to have the entire car stripped out so that way I can put the new carpet in have it all cleaned out and then obviously I have the floor mats ready to go and then I'm going to start looking for Hellcat seats uh, front and back and then obviously looking for the center console and the dash for the charger so if you guys don't know Hellcat seats and Hellcat rear charger seats they actually bolt pretty much directly into the magnum so which is super nice same thing with the dash and the center console pretty much everything bolts up um, to use the LCD screen from the charger you just have to make sure you have the computer that goes for that so that's not something I'm gonna get right away but that is on my list for sure now I was gonna go with this guy called JFab for the Hellcat conversion on the front end and everybody was like, don't fucking go there. The dude sucks dick. And I was like, wow, okay, that's kind of rude. And I looked up reviews and they're pretty bad. So instead, uh, I'm going to use someone else and I'm only going to get the fenders for the Hellcat conversion because everything else I can source out cheap either through you guys helping me find stuff or going to a junkyard and grabbing some like scat pack headlights because they're the same as a Hellcat, um, getting an SRT front bumper. Then I can decide which kind of hood I want to get and then obviously the radiator support. Those are the big pieces that all you need for a Magnum Hellcat conversion. The fenders is the biggest piece because obviously the fender on the Magnum is a lot longer than the Charger, the Challenger, or the 300. So basically what the guy does in their metal is he takes an RT fender and welds on to a Charger fender. That way you can directly bolt in and then you just put on the front portion from the charger you basically just swap everything over and it bolts up perfectly so that's super awesome and super nice so that's my plan with that <clears throat> i'm in talks right now as far as when i'm going to be ordering it he's a little backed up with three more people in front so i got to be kind of patient with that so with that being said i'll probably end up ordering the fenders and then those will probably take four to six weeks to get so during that time what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and look for some interior pieces so um everybody's been saying to switch the door panels to a 300c from 2010 because they're nicer so i'll probably end up looking for some of those <clears throat> i'm not going to try and like swap over hellcat charger doors and do like the hellcat charger uh the door panels i'm not trying to go that great that that's a little too much for me so but having the seats and the center console and the dash where it feels like a charger hellcat and then having the 300c um door panels like either reupholstered or painted or whatever so where, where it looks really nice um that's kind of my plan with that so um i did want to address something though so there was a few of you probably like at least 10 who were like oh my god dude this has already been done i'm like bro junkyard dave awesome creator awesome dude if you don't follow him you should but he's doing his own thing he's trying to do like a track hawk all-wheel drive fucking hellcat motor on a dodge magnum like i am not trying to go that crazy that build has been like a year and a half i think that is not something that i want to do at all i think it's awesome that he's doing that but i don't want to spend that much money or that much time on something like that i want to do something that it's 
still a little complicated, <clears throat> has makes some good content for you guys, and it's gonna be fun as fuck to drive. Because at the end of the day, I want a Dodge Magnum that looks like a Hellcat, has a Hellcat motor, performs like a Hellcat, it's just pretty much in a Magnum body. <clears throat> so that's what I wanna do. So everybody, it's, like, it's been done. Listen, there's been people, several people, who have done the Hellcat swapped Magnums before Junkyard Dave and before anybody else. So, and I looked up those dudes on YouTube. There's been dudes who've been doing it for years and it, which is awesome. So because someone's already done it, they've taken the hard work out for me and anybody else who wants to swap. So <clears throat> I think Dodge Magnum swaps are gonna be very popular coming in the next couple years because you can get Dodge Magnums for cheap. Even running ones, you can get for like two to three thousand um, dollars. Obviously, I got mine for a little cheaper, but it has a blown motor. But for me, it's a perfect project car, and it's awesome because it was cheap. It moves. I can like drive it to like move it to places, but it doesn't have to like. I don't have to go drive it to like Dallas or something like that. So um, the plan right now is order the fenders and then start sourcing at least some of the interior so we can start putting that together. Um, you know, find like a Dodge Charger steering wheel or even um, do like uh, an updated Alcantara steering wheel that the new uh, wide body red eyes come in, do something like that um, and just make it really nice. So it, this is probably gonna be like a nine to 12 month build, but it's gonna give my channel content and it's gonna be a lot of fun for you guys to interact with me. Cause I'm gonna ask you guys, do you wanna do this? And do you wanna do that? And should we do this color? Should we do that color? What kind of wheels? And I'm gonna involve you guys in part of this build. So because at the end of the day, about the car, obviously I wanna have fun with it, but I built it for the channel. So that's the plan. And since the last one I didn't get to do, cause it was too crazy, it was too much. <laughs> didn't get to do any of that and I already gave that away to the winner so we're just gonna move on to the next thing and I plan on keeping this one so anyways thank guys for watching today's video I really appreciate it hopefully you guys have an awesome day my name is Kevin Van Force make sure you guys follow me at Cali Boy Kevin on Instagram on Snapchat I'm out this bitch